And welcome back. Well, masquerade balls can make for a fun evening, but there's a serious reason for this night of entertainment. Yeah, members of W Girls Milwaukee are young professional women who want to make a difference. They volunteer to provide health care, education, and career opportunities for disadvantaged women. They also provide a safe haven for women and kids of domestic abuse. We have Rachel Hughes here and Mandy Patopinko there with W Girls Milwaukee. Hi, ladies. I see you brought your masks. Yes, yeah, we, we did. did. That's going to be fun. Let's see how they look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That is a good look. Masquerade <laughs> balls are fun, I think. Oh, yeah, they're super fun. You can dress up, get a fun mask, and just have a bunch of fun. Mm -hmm. That's great. So what's the point of this year's event? What, what is the Masquerade Ball supporting? So the Masquerade Ball is supporting all of our community non nonprofit partners that we work with throughout the year. Um, and it's also just a fun celebration to celebrate, you know, all the good work that people are doing in the community. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Tell us a little bit about your group um, because we kind of went through a, a really cool list of all the different things that you do oh, yeah. as a way to reaching out to people in our neighborhoods. So W Girls Milwaukee is a volunteer run nonprofit organization of young professional women who are all dedicated to giving back to the community here in Milwaukee. So we partner with nonprofit organizations throughout the year, volunteer, fundraise and raise awareness regarding their causes. So we've worked with a number of organizations over the last six years that we've been in existence. So if you go to our Facebook page this year for the Masquerade Ball, we are partnering and we're doing a social media campaign for those nonprofits to be able to um, get people to like their photo and they're gonna um, end up receiving $1,500 at the end of the night for that's our Masquerade. That's fantastic. Wow. So it's whoever gets the most votes. Yes. That's really great. Yes. I think that's such a neat way to do it because people can really go on and, and let them know, you know, where their heart lies in terms of the nonprofits that you support. The evening itself is going to be fun. You're going to have music from Lex Allen. It's going to be uh, dancing. I haven't been to the point. That's where this event Wait, is Lance at. Lance Allen has a oh, band. Oh, no, sorry, Lex <laughs> Allen. Did I say Lance Allen? No. Okay, I was like, say Lex <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Lance yes. Allen is sports and he has a little DJ and singer on the side. <laughs> yes, Lex Allen. Yeah. Um, and then we have DJ, he'll be playing all night, dancing. Um, costume contest, we have the Milwaukee Flyers. They're this really fun tumbling team. They're coming in oh, yeah, doing a cool. performance. Um, and it's at The Point, which is a new venue in Milwaukee. They do private events and fundraisers. So it's a really, really gorgeous space. So, so does everyone have to wear a mask? Yes, we okay. encourage everyone to wear a mask. I mean, it's fun. It's yeah, fun. it is. Fun. Absolutely. And there's still time for people to, to get in on it if they want to? Yes, they can still vote. The voting for the charities um, ends September 9th, so next Wednesday, and then the event is September 11th. Friday the 11th. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, and you should dress your best. So, you, wearing the mask, but it's, 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 is it formal or cocktail attire or? I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want. A mask, you know, dress to match your mask. I mean, you can wear a long dress, short dress. I mean, men. Is what you're both wearing appropriate to wear to the event? Yeah, yeah I mean, absolutely. yeah, we like to have a little fun with the outfits, so. That's, that's cool. Good. Love it. All right, so next Friday, the 11th, that's when you can take part in the Masquerade Ball. It's starting at 7.30 p.m. You can learn more by going to wgirls.org. It's taking place at The Point right on Barclay in Milwaukee. That's where you can learn more, wgirls.org. Head on out to the Masquerade Ball and definitely go to their Facebook as well to vote for a nonprofit who will win a $1,500 grant through that voting. So thanks so much for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful event. That's Thank fantastic. You.